Hi guys, welcome back. Today I am recapping our wedding and I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks that I learned along the way. We have a lot to talk about so let's get started yes I made a binder of all of the info I thought I needed to know and I'm gonna share like a quarter of it with you because I went overboard first up guest list usually that's the first thing you start with because you want to know are you having a small medium big wedding what size venue do I need with that information so that's where we started we started off with about 100 people, narrowed it down to 80. We ended up having 50 people, thanks COVID. But that's okay because the 50 that were there were supposed to be there. We love you guys, thanks. When you get that number, you start thinking budget. How much is it gonna cost for that many people to come to our wedding? A lot of money. We started off with a budget in our mind that we thought was good. <laughs> based on what we could save from each paycheck each month but that completely went out the window when we started seeing actual prices that people charge and we more than doubled it so I just want to give you some tips on how to save when you can because you need to know that also how we budgeted was I took a spreadsheet and I wrote down each time we paid for something and I made a column for how much it cost and how much I paid and how much I owe. That really helped along the way because if you're planning a wedding for a year, two years, you start forgetting that stuff that you paid for nine months ago. So that really helped me keep track of everything. Then I set up a Zola website and this was very helpful for a lot of reasons. I used Zola for our invites, our save the dates, their gift tracker for our honeymoon fund, um, for our registry that we did, and I also used it to collect online RSVPs. So I'll get more into that, um, but Zola, it's laid out super easy, um, super user friendly. So I set up our Zola website put all of our info on there so it was kind of a one-stop shop for all of our guests to get all of the info they need. That being said, not everyone will read your wedding website, which is crazy to me, but they will ask you every question you have already answered on the website. Anyway, wish we would have put a detail card in our invitation so it could answer those questions that people didn't read online. Like, is this a kid-friendly event? What is the attire? What time am I supposed to be where? As I said, I used Zola for all of our paper products. Now, I thought paper products were a waste of money because people read them, they go directly in the garbage, so I did not want to spend a lot of money on save the dates, invitations, all that stuff, so I did it the cheapest way possible. I went to Minted, I went to Shutterfly. I can't remember the other ones, but I, I searched. I ended up getting our save the dates from Zola for $32 for 50 save the dates. Crazy. And I love them. They're so cute. It has our engagement picture on there. It has all the info you need to know. On top of how cheap those save the dates were, all of their paper products come with free addressing. I did not have to sit and write out each address. Lifesaver. Even better than the save the date, I did our invitations through Zola. I paid $75 for 50. Again, because you don't have to get an invite for every guest, you have to get it for every couple. That was a brain fart on my part in the beginning and I bought way too many. But just so you know. So $75 for our invitation and for our rehearsal dinner card and all the addressed envelopes. Crazy! Here's our invitation. It was 
40% off when I got it, um, plus free gold foil. They upcharge for that gold foil, so score. But I designed this on Canva myself, and I uploaded my template to the Zola website, and then they printed it for me. And then I also designed this one as well. Um, and they both have cute little pictures of our venue on them that I paid someone on Etsy $15 each, so $30, to hand paint watercolor pictures. I mean, how cute, how custom, oh my gosh. And I'm gonna link her name right here because I'm obsessed with her. She did such great work. All I did was send in photos and she was able to copy them and paint them and she's amazing. Also to touch on that, I got a ton of stuff off Etsy. Etsy is a gold mine. I mean, there's so many creative people on Etsy. And it's so much cheaper at that and it's just unique and creative and I love it. All of the Etsy accounts I'm gonna talk about today, I love, I'm obsessed with, I definitely recommend. Lastly, talking about Zola, I use their online RSVPs because again, it's so much waste getting mailed in RSVPs. That's an extra envelope, an extra stamp, an extra piece of paper, extra counting you have to do on your part. Zola does all the RSVPs, counts them all, arranges them with what event they're coming to, which one they decline, so easy. I mean, that paper is just, it's so wasteful. The main concern I heard was, what about the older population? Are they gonna know how to go online and RSVP? Yes, the grandma knew how to do it, so we were good there. So that's it on Zola, let's move on. Okay, so usually the first vendor you book is the venue because you need to secure your date. That being said, the venue and the band were our top priority, so I made sure they were both available on the same day before I booked anything. So we secured the date with both of those vendors and we got our wedding day, which was December 19th, 2020. And our venue was Sugar Point Estate in Yulee, Florida, uh, which we loved. We didn't even look at any other venues. I just called around and got prices for other venues, but we didn't actually go look at any other venue because I fell in love. It had the house. It was on the marsh. It had the woodsy yard greenery vibe I was going for. It had the barn that we were gonna make chic. And also, thank you for that friends and family discount. This being said, it does not hurt to ask for a discount. I mean, I love a good deal. But I also know that vendors set their prices for a reason and not all of them can give you a discount. So what I like to do is I like to ask if there was any wiggle room in the price. Like, can I take this off to drop the price a little bit? Can we do away with this? Or, you know, we rearrange some of the contracts just so I could save a little money here or there. That really helped. Also, another tip, ask if you can pay the full payment up front. Instead of just putting down your deposit, see if you get a discount by putting the full payment up front. So we were able to do that with a couple vendors. Another tip, save all of your contracts from your vendors, hence the binder. Those will come in handy later when you're looking at all of the little minuscule details that you will not remember, but you need to know. Another thing when looking at venues, you need to have some questions in your mind to ask while you're there to see what you're getting, what you're not getting, because not every venue is the same. Not every venue includes the same thing. So now that we secured that venue, we got the band and we started working on our song list. That was like the first task Matt and I sat down and started working on. And it was the last thing we were working on because music is such a big thing to us. We wanted like every song to be meaningful and we just could not nail down songs. Um, but the band killed it. They learned two songs for us, Casey Musgraves and Dave Matthews, which was awesome. I have nothing but good things to say about them. And did I mention it's Who Rescued Who? I don't think so. Honestly, our favorite thing is live music and we knew we wanted a band over a DJ and they absolutely killed it. Love you guys. 
seating chart, one thing we were not going to do. We originally said we were going to have open seating so everyone could just pick wherever they wanted to sit, sit by whoever they wanted to sit by, and it was going to be less stress on us, but I kind of started thinking about it and of course me being type A and wanting everything planned out to a T, I realized it's kind of more stress on the guest. Like just take the time to make the seating chart because me as a guest, when I show up to a, a wedding without a seating chart, I'm like, uh, where do I sit? And then I find my place to sit, I put my purse down, my jacket, and then I come back and someone's sitting in my seat because we don't have assigned seats. I don't know, I just don't like it. And another thing, I didn't want like grandma to go sit down next to a teenager and be like, um, I need a spot for Papa. So we realized towards the end, let's just make a seating chart, make it easy so family can sit together, friends can sit together. So the two biggest questions I saw online, and when I mean online, I was in a ton of Facebook wedding planning groups, um, the wedding connection, millennials getting married, and I found them so helpful, seriously. So when I talk about online, I'm talking about those Facebook groups. But the two biggest questions I saw online were, do I need a videographer and do I need a wedding planner? Yes and yes. Wedding planner, so, so helpful. I got a day of coordinator. I did not get a wedding planner throughout the whole process because again, <laughs> they are so helpful with creating a timeline, reaching out to your other vendors, um, setting up for the wedding, breaking down the wedding, coordinating the ceremony and who's walking down the aisle when. Who's going to do that if you don't have a planner? I just don't understand how that happens. Um, you don't want that stress. You don't want your mom to have that stress. You want to have fun at your wedding. You don't want to have to worry about this stuff. Give it to somebody else. I will pay them whatever. Speaking of, I got a discount because I was referred from a friend to my wedding planner so savings and videographer you need i cannot imagine not having a videographer there because i already want to know every detail that happened that i just missed it happened so quick i forgot i want to see all that emotion captured in a cinematic masterpiece our parents didn't get it. They didn't understand why we were spending so much money on a video because when they got married in the 80s, it was on a tripod in the back of a church and it was grainy on a VHS tape. Not the same, mom. Probably third priority on our list was photography. We wanted those photos to be bomb that we would keep forever and eternity in the rest of our lifetime. I would suggest not cheaping out on that. Um, we wanted like moody, but not dark moody. We didn't want bright, like overexposed, very Florida white looking ph photos. I don't know. That might be your thing. That was not our thing. So we went with Lunic Visuals, who I cannot say enough awesome things about. It's a husband and wife who do photo and video. You can do either or, you don't have to do both, but we did and we absolutely love them. Um, it was so awesome, comfortable, fun working with them. And that's the kind of vibe you need at your wedding. Like you want someone who is your best friend afterwards. And I think we're best friends. Are we best friends? Hair and makeup is across the board about the same price. So I didn't go off of price when I was choosing hair and makeup. I went off of style and like the aesthetic that I was going for. So me and my girls got ready in oversized band tees because that is more the look. Like silky robes was not my vibe or style. And again, we're obsessed with music. So I thought oversized band t-shirt dresses were the look. Then I changed into my Daughters of Simone dress that I absolutely love. I ordered it offline. It was the first dress I ordered dress I tried on because I couldn't try on dresses in a bridal boutique because of COVID. I said yes to the dress the first time, um, but I absolutely loved it. I knew I wanted a long sleeve. I knew I wanted like a body forming, hugging, contouring tight. I don't know. And I knew I did not want like a puffy cupcake wedding dress. That is just not me. But 
savings. I got my dress for 60% off online because it was a sample sale dress. So look out for those sample sales. My girls wore show me your moo moo dresses in true gold luxe satin. And the groomsmen wore suits from Generation Tux. We really liked using them for suit or tux rentals. It seemed very user friendly for our groomsmen. Some of them got some sizes in that were wrong um, measurements, but they were able to like overnight them a new pant or a new jacket. So seems like it went great. So one of the best parts of the day was our private vows during our first look. I, I just, I just want to cry. It was such an emotional, pure, intimate moment. And it really felt like an out-of-body experience. I've never had one of those before, but it felt like I was just hovering over my body, just looking at both of us and just the tears. And <laughs> so I really recommend that. Honestly, it was such a good experience. It was a, it really calmed our nerves seeing each other before we walked down the aisle. And it was Matt's decision to read our vows privately instead of in front of everyone at our ceremony. And I respect that because it was such a good decision. Another awesome Etsy account I found during wedding planning. I do not know how to pronounce the name, so I'm just going to link it here. Um, but they were awesome. We got our Instax photo guest book from them. Um, and we really wanted a picture to go along with each guest instead of them just like signing a book. Um, so it's so cute. And everyone got to put their own little photo and write cute little things. We love you guys and we'll keep this forever. It's so beautiful. It's the green velvet vibe with gold. Absolutely love it. Flowers, we got our flowers through Flower Moxie, which is a wholesale online flower distributor, I guess. It was so much cheaper DIYing our flowers instead of paying a florist, like more than half off. Absolutely love them. I was in contact with Hope pretty much the entire time. She was so helpful and amazing to work with. I did their custom design like flower mood board where they helped me pick which flowers went with each other. Um, so they all kind of look cohesive so I wasn't just b picking out random flowers on their website. Um, and they would tell me how many quantities I needed for what I was using them for. And then they shipped FedEx overnight, uh, showed up to my door three days before the wedding. We trimmed them, hydrated them, and this is a tip. I don't know if I could have done it if it was just me. Um, one of our wedding guests, she is a retired florist. She helped arrange all the flowers. And honestly, I don't know if I could have done it without her because that would have been really stressful I feel like but I know girls do it and go you I only did a bridal bouquet or ceremony flowers like behind us at the little altar area um, and then greenery centerpieces on the tables so I didn't do boutonnieres um, bridesmaid bouquets so that really saved money and saved time when we DIY our own flowers also find you a code got 10% off there Okay, something you do not need to spend money on, but I thought was so cool and cute and unique were these cups. So I sketched out the design from a photo of the venue. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and I did like a custom design and I uploaded it to Totally Promotional, um, an extra cost that you really don't need custom cups, but um, I just thought they were so cool. Totally promotional, got a discount there. They were running on their website. Another Etsy company that we loved was Sip Hip Hooray. They did our custom koozies. So cute. I love them so much and they're high quality, they're neoprene. Snow. I got this fake snow from Ecofetti. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. It's biodegradable. So when you toss it, it absorbs into the ground, no cleanup, 
good for the environment score. This was used after our ceremony um, as we were walking back down the aisle. Um, but the wind didn't really play in our favor and I don't even know if you could see it, but I thought it was such a cool idea. Another Etsy company that I absolutely love, Neon Artisans. We wanted a neon sign for the wedding. We looked around, looked around, looked around, and they're expensive, like really expensive. So we got this off of Etsy for $200, which is so cheap when you're looking for neon signs. It is a little smaller than other neon signs you could get, um, but it, it worked. So we hung it up um, at the venue for like a little photo op moment. Next up, we have my wedding earrings. So they are from a local Jacksonville girl. Um, I will put her handle here. You can find her on Etsy or on Instagram. I found these earrings two weeks before the wedding and I was obsessed. I saw them on Instagram and I didn't even know she was local to Jacksonville and I found her at a pop-up shop and she hand makes these from clay. I'm obsessed with them. They match my dress perfectly. This hair vine I got from Olive and Piper. This, um, which is online. Um, thought this was super cute um, hair accessory. So I got all of my alterations for my dress done by McKinley, who is local to Jacksonville. She is a seamstress extraordinaire. Um, she did my veil as well, and she also uh, sewed all of the fringe on my denim jacket that I'm gonna show you. Okay, can you tell that I'm obsessed? I mean, this is a moment. So like I said, she sewed on all of the fringe, and then I, I DIY'd this jacket. So I ordered this box called Bash Creative Design. It came in a box and it had all these instructions. Basically, you just iron on these patches onto the back of the jacket. Um, and I had our wedding day and my new last name. I thought it was just so fun. It was a part of my second outfit change. I did look, they're out of these patches, but they have other ones and you can do it on either denim jackets or leather jackets. That's like a super cool personalized item for your wedding. Okay, I felt so much cooler in that jacket, but back to it. So I also got my bridesmaids denim jackets and they came from Etsy. Another, how many times have I said this? Another account I'm obsessed with, Patch 12 Jackets. So she upcycles all of her jackets, therefore she thrifts them and they all come unique and different. Um, so I got all of my girls denim jackets that said Ride or Die on the back, which is a knockoff lookalike of the Rue de Cien, I don't know how to say that. Um, like boho bridal company that sell those jackets for like $200. Um, so I really love that this girl hand sewed the designs of the bridesmaids jackets. Okay, I wanna talk about another local Jacksonville creator. Um, so Calligraphy by Cami. she has a website and she's also on Instagram. She made our vow books which are so cute. Um, she hand does the calligraphy. Um, so she did our vow books and she also did our wedding welcome sign. She is so good at what she does. If you need any signage, which I did not realize how much signage you need for a wedding, um, but literally people need to be told what to do at every point in the wedding, it seems. Um, she does everything from invitations to signs. She's incredible. Like I said, so many signs. So if you have any creative bone in your body, I would suggest to try to make them yourself, even though that's easier said than done. Um, so my mother-in-law and I worked on ah! signs for the wedding. So this is just done by a Cricut machine. Um, so if you have access to that or know anyone, I would highly suggest because people charge crazy. Uh, to make wedding signs. Food. So we had a food truck because plated sit-down dinners was not the style of the wedding. Um, and also, who wants lukewarm beef served on a plate? I don't know. Not me. We went with Funkadelic food truck. 
They're amazing. Their food is incredible. Um, they are local to St. Augustine, but they travel around. And if you're looking for cheaper catering, barbecue and Mexican is pretty much your go-to. I saw some downsides to a food truck, um, bottlenecking, like the line to get the food um, can get a little overwhelming. Like I said, we only had 50 guests, so I don't think that was ever an issue. Uh, one thing I did ask to avoid that from happening, we asked that the MC, aka the band, asked each individual table to get up and go get food one at a time. Also, eat at your wedding. I know people say that, but honestly, we carved time into our timeline to eat because we wanted the food that bad. I wasn't going to pay all this money and not eat our food. So after our ceremony, we took some couple shots together, but then we went back to the house and had just private time, me and him, ate food, talked, like took a breath because it gets so overwhelming. You need to carve time to just like have together or it's just like all these people. Rentals, we got all of our tables and chairs from Mugwump Productions. They're awesome. Um, they gave us a great deal for paying up front and they were the best price by far that I found for rental company. Wedding insurance, we went with the event helper. I also think there's one called WedSafe we looked into, but it was about $100 for the coverage we needed for the wedding. Really glad that we got the insurance, especially during COVID, um, but also our venue required it. So check into that. We got our wedding bands from Olive Ave Jewelry, which is an online store. Um, but it is such great quality for the price and I absolutely love my wedding band. Um, and Matt got his from there too. I preserved my wedding dress and my bouquet. I used David's bridal for the dress preservation. So I haven't gotten that back yet. It was shipped off right after the wedding. And then I used Addie Marie designs that I really want to shout out because I am so excited for my flowers to come back in. So she preserves them in resin, so they will last forever. And she is the best price I found. Addie Marie Designs, she has a website and on Instagram. I'm really excited to get my flowers back so like they last for the test of time. Okay, so I know I've been talking about some deals here and there, but the saying, it's too good to be true, is sometimes true so the cheapest is not always the best usually it's not and go with your gut if you feel like something is not right and it's too good to be true it probably is that happened with us in a in a couple instances obviously i i like a good deal but take that with a grain of salt cake callie marie bakes did our cake um she's local to jacksonville obviously because you can't ship a cake um, but she does amazing work. So we got a vanilla cake with spiced icing, with caramel drip, gold flakes, flowers, beautiful. I cannot wait to see the photos of that um, because I got like a smidge of cake that night, but it was amazing. Okay, bar. Bar was another big deal for our wedding. We wanted a full bar, liquor, beer, wine. Um, so what we did to help with the cost of that was we had a stock the bar wedding shower where we had everyone bring a hodgepodge of liquors. Um, so that helped the bill tremendously. We had everyone bring random liquors, whatever they wanted. I can see an issue with a larger wedding, having a bunch of different liquors being confusing for one, the guests, but two, the bartenders serving it. So I do know somebody else who did the same thing, but they listed specific vodka, rum, whiskey, whatever that they wanted you to bring. Um, so that could work if you were having more people, but since we only had 50 and just having like the random bottles out on the bar to see what you were getting was I think pretty easy. Right when the dance floor opened at our wedding, Matt and I got behind the bar and we served people drinks because we thought that was a better idea than walking around from table to table saying hello and like the will okay, let's take a photo, yeah, hi, how are ya? Like we didn't wanna do that, so we got behind the bar and we mixed drinks for people as kind of like a uh, interaction with all of our guests and while I'm not a bartender because 
two people brought back their drinks and said that they were awful. <laughs> it was so much fun to do. Some more tips on how you can save money. I would say skimp out on the plates and utensils and all of that. No one's going to remember if they ate off of a plastic or paper plate. Um, also centerpieces. I did greenery in little bottles. I did not pay for like roses and really expensive flowers to be on the tables because people don't notice the centerpieces either. We created a separate checking account and we moved money into that account each paycheck. Uh, so we ended up saving so much money that we didn't even realize that we were moving over there until it all added up in the end. You know I could not go through this whole video and not tell you about Fashion Pass. So I'm not even lying. You should get a clothing rental company, monthly subscription, whatever, for all of these white dresses that you're never going to wear again. I swear, I, it was like nauseating finding white dresses. I did not want another white dress. Therefore, I wore a green dress to my rehearsal dinner because I was so tired of finding white dresses. But if you want to use Fashion Pass, here's my code, Logan5, for $35 off your first month. Um, but honestly, why would you not rent white dresses and send them back instead of them taking up space in your closet that you'll never wear? I don't know. Just a thought. Last but not least, our honeymoon. So we are moving into a tiny house. If you follow the channel, you know that. Um, and we we did not want to ask for things on our registry. We did not want a crock pot, a toaster, none of that. Um, so we did a honeymoon fund for our registry. Um, and it seemed very user friendly because thank you guys for the gifts. We went to El Dorado Maroma in Mexico for our honeymoon. They are an all inclusive resort, adults only. It was so nice and relaxing and pretty empty. I mean, December, Mexico, COVID, I get it. We took all of the proper safety precautions. They were so great at the resort. Everyone was wearing a mask, sanitized everything. Um, again, it was like very quiet and hardly any people there. So we felt very safe. So we did four days in the Palafitos, which is their over the water bungalows. Um, those were amazing. We wanted to do like Bora Bora Maldives vibes, but on a budget. So we found this resort in Mexico and it was just amazing. Um, so we did four nights in those and then we did two nights in the beachfront villa. Um, so go check that place out because we loved it. But also follow me on Instagram because I posted a ton of photos from the honeymoon, a ton of photos from the wedding. If you want to see any of the details that I've been talking about. Also, if you have any more questions, leave a comment below. I'd be more than happy to go into more detail because I loved our wedding. It was so much fun. It was beautiful, magical, more than I could ever dream of. Um, so thank you guys for tuning in.